What's up, YouTube? It's Tommy Boy Forty Five Fifty, and this is going to be my uh, pickups for today, February twenty second. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got some okay pickups, but uh, I I'll say I got some pretty good pickups. It's not a lot compared to the uh, previous times that I had, but still good nonetheless, and you know how we uh, do it when we uh, start up these videos, we start off with the uh, packages I got first. I uh, bought some games, some turbo games from a good uh, friend uh, on Facebook, so um, we're, we're just going to call him Bernie, I don't know if he wants his full name on here or not, but let's call him Bernie, but I bought Two games, Super Darius 2 and Image Fight 2, right here. We got them at a pretty good fucking deal, so. So that way you get an idea of what they're like. I'll even show you what the CD looks like. There's that. There's that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know people are probably saying, you're, you're fucking crazy. You, you're buying these and you don't even have the fucking system. Oh. Tommy Boy, trust me, Tommy Boy is going to get this fucking system. I am going to get the system, damn it. I guarantee it. I'm just waiting. You know, I mean, I guess that's the price I pay for uh, getting, my, getting my taxes done for free. You know, because um, I had to set up an appointment to get them done, and I fucking, the only time I'm able to get it done is like towards the end of the fucking. February, which kind of sucks. But when the 26th gets here, I'll be able to file my taxes, and it shouldn't, hopefully it doesn't take more than a week for, uh, for the money to come, and that's probably when I'm going to be able to get one, so. Anyways, uh, thanks Bernie for those awesome games. I can't wait to play them. I'm going to try and pick up, uh, a turbo stick, hopefully, uh, within the next two weeks before I get the system so that way I can play the shoot 'em ups the way they're supposed to be played. But, uh, anyways, to go with that, I, uh, I was looking at some other games that they had, I didn't even know they made this for the, uh, PC Engine columns. I remember playing this on the, uh, Sega Genesis a lot, and I like these type of games. Don't know if there's any other, uh, games out there that are like this, but if there is, let me, guy let me, uh, know. You know, you got the game right there in the sleeve. Let me know, because I... Usually like these type of puzzle games. I think they got like some uh, some other ones in there, but we'll find out. But uh, I think I only paid like what five or six bucks for this, so that was pretty good fucking deal right there. And to go with that, oh, those are the turbo pickups. I uh, looked on a. Oh, you, fuck, you guys already seen it. I'll just do this. Start laying the, these out here. Well, you can't see them. Let's get them back. There we go. But anyways, uh, I looked off of uh, Craigslist, and I have seen if I could find any good uh, ads here. Or any good games. I really didn't come across anything. I saw a list of some of the guy I had. He had some okay titles on there, but they weren't like, it was just the game. And it looked like he was selling everything for like fucking bundle for like 200 bucks. And <laughs> half of those titles were like fucking sports games. And I'm like, you know what? I could try and offer him a, a price for those games or whatever. But more than likely, he's going to want a ton of money just because the fucking sports games are complete in the box. Which I'm not really interested in sports games. But the only other game that interested me that was still complete in the box was the side pocket, which I really don't, I, I consider this a sports game, because it's billards, but, uh, you know, it's in pretty good condition, but either way, I still like playing, uh, you know, cool, uh, games on, on, uh, game systems, you know, because they're pretty good, I used to, uh, have a lot of fun playing that back in the day, never really played this one, so hopefully it's good, but it does come with the manual. And as you can see, the game 
this come with the uh, sleeve right there. I'm going to try and get these individually off of eBay, which are probably going to cost a lot, but I'm going to try and get them all for my complete games. So that way they all have them. But uh, either way, I um, got this for a really good deal. I got it for an okay deal. I'd say about five bucks. Uh, five bucks should be shouldn't be too bad of a deal right there. Because I just told them I'm not really interested in uh, sports games that much. You know, and some uh, some other ones that were okay, but I you know if I would have offered them a price, you probably would fucking said nope. Too much. Because usually, usually I don't buy one game. If I, if I see a couple of good games, I'll bundle them on there. So, yeah. I don't know, though. I told him if I, uh, if, if I, uh, see, if I'm interested in anything else, I'll get a hold of him. But he actually sent me an email asking me if I was a, you know, a game uh, collector or something. And I said, not I play all my games. I don't really sell them. So I guess, yeah, you could say that. Because he uh, even said, sent me a reply saying that he's actually uh, collecting Super Nintendo games and he has over like fucking 300 of them. A hundred of them are complete in the box. <laughs> well, I don't know, something's telling me that at least half of those fucking CIB games are probably sports titles. Or at least the majority of them, I don't know. But I told him uh, once I get more money, oh, I'll get a hold of them. I'm going to wait until I have at least about 100 150 bucks to uh, spend on what I want and I'll get a hold of him and see what he wants to sell if he wants to sell anything. I'll let you guys know on that. And I just got these off of eBay. Yeah, I know eBay. <laughs> but uh, I already had these games but uh, I didn't have the boxes and these are complete. This one didn't come with the game. But it uh, came with the, the poster and stuff right here. I'll show you really quick. Because I'm always trying, you know me, I'm always trying to complete my uh, loose games. That damn thing fell over. Well, I'm not doing that. Do it, do it how usually uh, our Rob does it. Lays it out all on the table, stacks it, and calls it a day. <laughs> but uh, let me get the damn thing out. You know, precautions and your uh, instruction manual right there. So, always good to have. Let me get the damn thing in here. Alright. You have to show tournament tactics. Right there. And then we got you have to show spirit detective. This one did come with the game. Even though I already have it, but it was like five, it was only like fucking four bucks anyways. So I said fucking. And this one does come with a poster and everything, so that's pretty sweet. Let's see what the poster looks like. Oh, just the regular deal right there. Let's come to the back. Oh, there. I have like profiles for each. This guy right there also. Let me do a close up. You can check that out. So that's pretty sweet. I always love completing my games that are loose because it, it just proves that if even if you buy a loose game, you can eventually find the uh, the boxes and the manuals for them. So just because you find a really good game that doesn't come with everything, I just say go ahead and buy it. And then, because you'll eventually, you know, find the boxes and manuals for them. So, but yeah, I got that. So I do have an extra copy of uh, Shibi Yu Yu Show Spirit Detective. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Also went over to Goodwill, I think it was about yesterday. And I was trying to find anything that they had over there. I don't know, it's, it's been kind of dead over there. They had they actually had a decent amount of fucking PlayStation games, but they were like all all sports titles. They did have one that was that looked like it was you know would have been okay, Scooby Doo one, but uh, it was the greatest hits. 
And I, you know, even though I was scared as hell, I decided to fucking open it up to see if the game and was in there what it looked like. Open it up and there was no fucking game in there, so it kind of fucking, you know, pissed me off a little bit. But, what can you do? Only thing that I did pick up, though, was this right here. This is Dave, Dave Muir Freestyle BMX Maximum Remix. Which looks like it's Dave Mira, the BMX game, but they added more stuff to it. Explore eight new free roaming environments and take out new challenges in the original 12 levels. Damn. They got a new expert mode. And I like how they got the original uh, <laughs> price stickers on here. I think this might be uh, EB Games. I can't remember what the uh, what they look like. It's either EB Games or uh, EB Games, etc. My local uh, game store here. I can't I can't remember. But uh, anyways, that's yeah, pretty sweet. It does come with the uh, the audio disc that it came with right there. So that's pretty sweet. Only paid two bucks for it too, so I'm not gonna complain. Two dollars. And. These are probably my uh, biggest pickups, um, besides the uh, turbo ones I got. Didn't have any RPGs for the uh, for my hand. Yeah, I really didn't have any RPGs for my handheld, especially my Vita. You know, since I spent about fucking two hundred fifty bucks on getting there, I was like, you know what? I want to get me some uh, RPGs so that way I can have something pretty good to play and spend a lot of time playing. You know. And I just said, screw it. Went online to see what they had, and I actually bought Ragnarok Odyssey Mercenary Edition, which is really flipping sweet. I'll show you the back. Damn it. There we go. You can pause it there if you want, read it. But yeah, never really played a Ragnarok uh, game before, but uh. So far, it's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. I gotta get used to the, uh, the fighting system and stuff like that. But anyways, you got mercenary guide, which is pretty sweet. I like how that is. I'm gonna start buying more of these collector's editions. I don't know why I don't. I usually miss out on pretty much everything. But look at this right here. It has like. It says boss catalog. It pretty much explains all the attacks and specs of all the monsters and everything that you can, well, at least a good amount of them, it looks like. Then it looks like, you know, you got some random artwork throughout the pages right there, which is pretty sweet. I probably won't use this as much because I'll keep it in the box, but if I need a look for something, it looks like there's also some maps in here too, in case you get lost. But uh, I'll keep it in the, the box here because I probably won't use it that much. I try and click the game without using the, that kind of stuff. But I also got the uh, soundtrack, which is still sealed. I'll keep it sealed if I want to listen to the music or whatever. I'll either pop in the game or just fucking go to YouTube and listen to it. Also got some uh, cards right here, which I could open up, but I don't see the point of opening up right now. I'll just keep them sealed. Might as well. I'll throw these back in here. Oh, yeah. I kind of made this. A little challenging, damn it. <laughs> Putting this in here. And yeah, I guess I could should have at least showed the uh, game that was in there. I got the game in the Vita right now. But yeah, usually I bring it to work. I usually carry that Vita with me wherever I go. So, go to work. If I go to work after work, if I go to Sandman's place or uh, my other friend's place, I bring it there and I play it. So, got that. And this, well, oh, fucking hell, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much this is all that needs to be said. It's Persona 4 Guild, Solid Guild Edition. And yeah, it's still sealed. 
I ain't gonna lie, I paid about a hundred bucks for it. But, um, I don't know. I'm debating whether I should open it up or just keep it sealed. Because they only made 10,000 of these. Which seems like a lot, of, seems like a lot, but... 10,000? Limited? Yeah. I might just end up playing this and hold off on playing this. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably uh, just buy the uh, the game of this right here. So that way I can at least keep this sealed. Because I'm pretty sure this will probably... I mean, I'm not going to say it's going to shoot all the way the hell up, you know, but I'm pretty sure it's either going to stay at the price that it is right now or it's going to rise, you know, a little bit. But at least I'll have one good sealed game right here. So that'd be pretty sweet. And holy shit, everything's gonna fall apart. But uh, so as you can see, you know, all my pickups right here, not a lot, but you know, considering the last couple of weeks, I mean, it's pretty good. But uh, yeah, <laughs> within the next couple of weeks, I should have my uh, tax return in. I'll probably be doing a big pickup on a turbo and some other stuff. But, yeah, there's actually one thing I forgot. What the hell, man? What the hell am I thinking? As you can see, it's just a Halo 2 game case. The thing that's special about it holding money here and you know it's not just a fucking tan right there as you can see <laughs> but yeah I'm pretty sure the, ma uh, the majority of you and even if you didn't watch the uh, Sony conference you know what happened they announced the PlayStation 4 showed some videos and explained what the system was going to be about anyways to make a long story short conference was okay I'm, I'm pretty sure they could have shown more, but, you know, considering they weren't at an actual, like, GDC, Tokyo Game Show, or E3, they actually did pretty good, so. Just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna wait and see what else they're gonna announce at uh, E3. I'm pretty sure they'll announce more at GDC uh, next month in uh, March, so. But, uh, I'm gonna start saving up 50 bucks, around 50 or 60 bucks a month. Until I get it to about like five or six hundred, five or six hundred bucks, and from then, by E3, I'm probably going to make a decision on whether I'm going to buy a PS4, 720, or if Microsoft and Sony don't show off anything that interests me, then I'll just say fuck it. I'll buy a uh, better uh, video card for my PC so that way I can just game on there. But I don't know. I'm probably going to eventually. It's, it's either going to be uh, between Microsoft and Sony, but I, uh, I'd i say probably right now. So <laughs> as far as everything's looking, especially with that uh, Killzone 4 or Killzone Shadowfall. Yeah, Killzone Shadowfall, Infamous Second Son. If those are launch titles, <laughs> if those are fucking launch titles, then yeah. I just, I have a funny feeling too. That the uh, the Final Fantasy uh, announcement that they're gonna have, which I'll probably get more into detail in my uh, live show. It has it has to be Final Fantasy versus thirteen. That game was shown what back in two thousand six, and there was like two or three videos between then and now, just showing maybe some of the gameplay, and that was it. And we haven't seen any gameplay or any videos or any news about it since, what, 2008? At least four years. So my guess is they transferred the development to uh, PS4 and to that new uh, Luminous, if that's what it is, a new Luminous uh, engine. And if that's the case, hopefully, hopefully that's launch title, or at least launch window game, because if that is just that game alone right there, I'll fucking buy the system, I don't care, I'll buy that game right there, 
Because that's actually that was actually a game that I was looking forward to right there, but I just don't know why the fuck they <laughs> they waited so long. I mean, I'm guessing that's why they kept on releasing the Final Fantasy thirteen, you know, games right there. Thirteen two and Lightning Returns, I'm pretty sure that's probably why. They don't want to give a fucking reason, but anyways, yeah, I'm going too much into that right now, but either way, you know, this is all the stuff right here. I'll keep on giving you guys an update on my, uh, I'll keep on showing you each month on it growing right here, and we'll, we'll figure out what, what to do on the, uh, when they show more games. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Oh yeah. Thanks again, uh, Bernie, for the uh, for the trouble games. Peace. Yeah. I don't know why the hell I keep on forgetting that shit, man. But uh, yeah, I actually uh, I actually uh, got lucky. Uh, what was it? This week or whatever, and I, get, and I did get, get, end up getting some extra money, and I was actually <laughs> able to buy both Black Ops Two or Call of Duty Black Ops Two uh, games for both the P PS3 and a 360. And in case you're wondering, both games still do come with Nuketown 2025, and I'm pretty sure in your area. In case you're wondering, they should still come with the maps because I know usually they fucking overstock these games all to hell but uh of course <laughs> I've got both of these games in the uh in the systems right now of course you got well you got whatever little manual that is and then the big town thing right there which I've, I've already used and for the 360 I I got the little thing here and also, I got the, the uh, Newton 2025 thing here, but uh, and today uh, gold trial. But uh, the thing is, I already have Newton 2025 because my uh, cousins they actually had an extra code, and they uh, they went, when they rented the game from the Red Box, they just said here take the fucking code and get Newton. So they gave me that. So I actually got an extra thing of a new time right here. So I don't know. When I get like, when I do like a subscriber thing, like I don't know, 300 or something. I should be close to 300. I'll do like a contest or whatever. Not just for this, but you know, I'll fucking do like a couple games and stuff like that. And I'll throw this in there as an extra, you know. Otherwise, I'll just hold on to it. And if somebody needs it, I'll just, you know front to them, you know. But uh, anyways, on top of this, <laughs> for both, this is the crazy part. I bought these both brand new, so that's 120 right there. Well, brand new. I And I should have just waited too, because I know over at fucking, over at Target, they they uh, had that shit over there for 40 bucks each. I should have just fucking waited, man. I would have saved money. But anyways, you can see what that says. That's pretty much it. You want to know how crazy this is? <laughs> I bought the season pass for the maps for both the 360 and the PS3. So I got all the maps coming on both systems. So for any of you guys that might say you should get it for this system or that system, I got it for both fucking systems, alright? So don't worry. If you want to play, I'm going to have all the maps and everything. So. But yeah, it's just, this is just one of those fucking things that just, I don't know why the fuck this, I completely forgot about this, but anyways, that's Black Ops 2 right now, I've been, I've been playing the, uh, I really, I really haven't played the, uh, the uh, single player, but the multiplayer, yeah, especially the, uh, the new maps, I'm telling you, man, if anything, even if you don't want to get the, uh, season pass, just, I'd say just get the first map pack and try it out. Because that, those maps on there, that's like the first thing I tried out. Oh man. <laughs> Hydro, what is it? Hydro, 
grind, mirage, and then you have fucking the other. I can't even think of it right now. But then you also got the uh, that new game, that new zombies game mode, and then you have um, that die rise, which is pretty fucking crazy. But anyways, that's it for uh, now. It better be it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.